Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm showing you guys my current fall favorites slash obsessions. I did one of these last year, I believe. Before I get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave a comment down below telling me what you would like to see from me next because I really want to know what you guys would like to see rather than me just guessing and assuming what you guys would like to see. So leave a comment down below and let's get started. So first I'm gonna start with my beauty favorite. So the first thing that I have is my herbivore phoenix oil. I have the little mini one that I got in like a little herbivore sample kit type thingy and I am so in love with this oil. I wanted this for so long but the big one is like $80 I think. So I didn't want to spend that amount of money and me not like it. I really really like this. This is so refreshing and soothing on my skin and it doesn't smell. This almost reminds me of my Sunday Riley glow oil. It's kind of like the same color. It smells a little bit the same but this one smells so much better than that one. I use my Sunday Riley one all the time and I always talk about how I don't like the smell. It smells horrible. This is like my new favorite facial oil. I feel like once I put it on, I usually put it on at nighttime. Once I do all my skincare and everything and I feel like once I wake up, my skin is just like glowing. I also feel like it clears up my acne a little bit too, which I've read of reviews about this before and a lot of people say the same thing. So this is my new favorite facial oil. Once this runs out, I'm definitely going to purchase the big one. It's definitely a good investment facial oil if you are into skincare and everything like that. I would definitely recommend that one because it is really, really good. The next thing that I have is by the brand The Ordinary and it is the peeling solution. This has literally been a lifesaver. If you have those little stubborn bumps on your forehead or just like anywhere on your face, I swear this will help you so much. I have read so many reviews about this before I bought it and the good thing about it is that it's only like $6. I don't know why the the products are so cheap but they are and you would think that this product would be like a hundred dollars because it works really well but it's literally I think this is like seven dollars so if you have problems with like texture on your skin I would definitely recommend this and you only are supposed to leave this on for 10 minutes because it's really strong and it's basically like peeling the first layer of skin off your face I guess I have really sensitive skin so sometimes I will literally only leave this on for like five minutes because you can feel it like burning and you can definitely tell it's working so after I use this, my skin feels so soft. It's so smooth. I just love this so much. I've never found anything like this before. If you're looking for good skincare products, I would definitely check out this brand, The Ordinary, because they have so many different products to choose from. If you don't want to spend a lot of money on skincare, but still want something that is going to work, I would definitely check out. Okay. I would definitely check out their products because they're so cheap, so inexpensive, and they actually work. That peeling solution has literally helped me so much. I use it like once a week, I would say. Sometimes even once every two weeks because it's helped so much that I don't really get the bumps anymore on my face. So next I have a lip product. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This has gotten so popular over the past like year. Everybody's been loving it. I got the vanilla one recently. I used to have the original one, which is like the berry flavor, I think, but I really like the vanilla it smells so good i love putting this on my lips and it lasts so long like you only need a little bit put it on your lips and it's just so refreshing it makes your lips look so juicy i will never get over this like it's so good it's 20 dollars, which is kind of a little bit expensive for a lip product but it'll last you a long time it works so good i have the vanilla one and i also have the berry i think this is berry i don't even know it doesn't say i haven't even used up all of this one either this is one of those things where if you don't have it like you need to go to the store and buy it like right now dip your finger in it and you're good to go. So the next beauty product that I have is my Glossier Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen. If you don't wear sunscreen every single day, girl, you need to start wearing sunscreen. I don't care if it's cloudy. I don't care if it's raining. I put this on every single day ever since I got it. I don't want dark spots. I don't want wrinkles. I don't want any of that stuff. Sunscreen for your face is so, so important. This is SPF 35. I mean, you don't even have to get the Glossier one. I just prefer this one because it's really lightweight and it doesn't break me out. I really like this one, but you can literally get any facial sunscreen that you desire. And it smells really good too. So 
I really like this. So next I have my Pat McGrath lip glosses. These have been my favorite lip glosses I've ever literally had in my whole entire life. So I have three mini ones that came in a little package and I have one big one. I love these shades. They're so cute and they go really good with my skin tone. So I'll read them off to you. This one is called Pale Fire Nectar, Dare to Bear. Oh, I'm dropping these everywhere. Divine Rose, and then the big one is called Blitz Gold. They are a little bit pricey for lip glosses, but they definitely last you a long time. It's not sticky like some lip glosses are. Like, you know how some get like stuck in your hair and they just like feel really gross on your lips? These ones are so smooth and they just smell so good. I love them. I usually carry one in my bag, usually with like one of the mini ones I carry with me. Probably the best lip glosses I have ever gotten in my entire life. So the last beauty favorite that I have is a mascara. This is the Bad Gal Bang Mascara by Benefit and I'm not wearing it right now because I still have my eyelash extensions from when I went away. I can't believe they're like still on my lashes. I'm just waiting for them to all fall out. So there's just like a few of them left but I can't wait to use this again because it literally makes your eyelashes look fake. Like it makes them so long. It's not clumpy at all. I just love wands like this. Like the really skinny like bendy ones. You know what I'm talking about? It's the ones that look like this. And I just love this mascara. I'm always looking for a good mascara. And I always used to be like a drugstore mascara kind of girl. I was never like, oh, I'm gonna go to Sephora and get a mascara because I was like, they all like work the same. But I was wrong. I really like mascaras by Benefit. So if you're looking for a good mascara that's not clumpy, it's not chunky, it's not gross, I would definitely recommend this one. I love this so much. So those are all of my beauty products that I have for you guys. And now moving on to fashion. The first item that I have are, are, is this mini shoulder bag from Princess Polly. These bags, you guys, are so trendy right now. They're so cute. I really just like spice up your outfit a little bit like, instead of like a big chunky bag, you know? If that makes any sense, I just really like the look of these. I really like just, they're just so cute. Oh my God. I have euros in here from when I went to Italy. That's funny. But yeah, I just really like this bag. This one is very inexpensive. This is from Princess Polly. It's very good quality. And I think it was only like $20. If you're looking for a good little cute mini shoulder bag, this is definitely a good buy. The next item that I have are my Ray-Bans. These are, I don't even know what these are called. They're a type of Wayfair, but they don't have like a frame. It's like all the lens like covers the whole entire pair of glasses. And I just think they're so different and they're so cute. Like they just look really cool. Um, they make me think that I'm a bad bitch when I'm not. You can see my ring light. Hello. I just think they're really cute. They're really cool looking and they're really different. And I got these when I was in Italy. They were a lot cheaper out there. They were having like a sale. I think I got them for like $120 when originally they're like $175, I think. I've been wanting these for so long. And then when I saw them, I was like, oh. Oh my god, I need them. Well, I definitely really like these. They're really cool looking. If you're looking for a good pair of black sunglasses, those are really cool. They're really different and unique looking, so get yourself a pair. So the next item that I have are my Jennifer Fisher hoops. These have gotten so popular lately. It's insane. Hailey Bieber was like the start of these. Like everybody is like, holy crap. Those are like the perfect pair of hoops and they literally are. Like I cannot get enough of these. I have the mini Samira ones and these are a little bit pricey. So if you're into jewelry and like to have jewelry that's going to last you a long time, these are such a good investment to have. They look like this. I've talked about these so many times on my channel. I just love them so much and I cannot wait to get more pairs of them. But just look at them. Like they're so cute and they're so lightweight on your ears. Like so many earrings bother me. The Madewell hoops, the big, let me just show you. Let me show you. So oh, I used to always wear these hoops by Madewell. They're the big gold chunky hoops, but these are so heavy and they really bother my ears and they're already like tarnishing a little bit, which is annoying. So I was like, I'm literally over this. Like I've heard so many good things about Jennifer Fisher hoops and I see them everywhere. And I actually got them for a birthday present for myself in July. So I've had them since July and I've literally worn them every single day of my life. I'm not wearing them right now just because I don't really want like dangly earrings right now, but 
but they're just such a good investment if you're into jewelry and into hoops and earrings and everything like that. I really just want all of the hoops that Jennifer Fisher has. They're so beautiful. Just the way they look. I can literally spot Jennifer Fisher hoops a mile away now. Like I'm just so obsessed with them. They're so beautiful. So my last fall fashion favorite that I have for you guys is big sweatshirts. Like big oversized sweatshirts. Oh my god. So comfortable. So cute. I'm so in love with streetwear and I'm always on Pinterest like looking up streetwear and a big thing is like big sweatshirts. I don't know. I just fall in love with them. I love sweatshirts so much. So one of my favorites that I have is this one from Brandy. It's a black big oversized sweatshirt and it just says Aspen, Colorado on it. Never been there. It has no relevance to my life whatsoever. I just like the quality of this sweatshirt. I just like the way it fits. It looks really cute. And another good place that has good big sweatshirts is Aritzia. And they have, I think it's called the boyfriend hoodie or something like that. And I have a green one. I have it in the biggest size. So it's like big, oversized, chunky sweatshirt. I'm just, oh, I love sweatshirts so much. I live in them. I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now. So that is it, you guys for my fall favorites slash obsessions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll have everything that I mentioned linked down below for you guys if you wanna check them out. And don't forget, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and leave a comment down below telling me what you would like to see next from me. And I will see you guys in my next video.